Welcome to That Board Game Show. My name is Hein van Yerden, and today I would like to show you Skunk Bingo. Skunk Bingo is a family oriented game where everybody gets together and try and match their various characters to their various bingo boards. It's a spin off from the traditional bingo that we as adults know, but it's for you little ones so that you can see how the little animals get together and you go bingo! It's based on four players, two to four players can play it from the ages of about three and up, but it's a game for the entire family. So let me show you how Skunk Bingo all works. I'm going to play as if I'm a two player person. So I'm going to take these two boards and put them one side next to my rules. Mommy and Daddy, read the rules. They're always helpful. <laughs> The board is set up where each player gets his set of characters. Okay, now I'm going to be having one set on my side, and this is James's board. James, you cannot see, but he's going to be playing along with us. Then you have got the dial, which is used to see how many different characters are going to go hiding inside your log. Your characters match exactly what you've got on your board. So you've got little bunnies, you've got little hedgehogs, you have got little tortoises and birdies. These are going to crawl inside your log on the one side and they're going to come out again on the other side. And from there they're going to appear and go onto your board. Let me show you. So let's put the log in the middle, our dial over here and Heinz board and James's board. The game begins with Hein. First, Hein takes the dial and he rolls it. Okay, in this particular case, it ended on three. So because it ended on three, I'm going to take three of my little creatures and crawl into the log. I'm going to grab a tortoise and put him in. I'm going to grab a bunny and I'm going to grab a hedgehog. Now I've chosen to take three different ones just because it's the start of the game. As your game progresses you can have a look and see what you need on your board and then you start slotting those in because as you slot them in so they come out on the other side. James on the other hand he is going to spin his dial and he reached a skunk. Now when a skunk is chosen then the skunk himself has to crawl into the log. In the beginning is not a problem but you'll see that the skunk is going to get out the bottom and when he falls out on the other side he's going to chase all the other happy creatures that have fallen out with him away back into the forest and that's not what we want. Heinz turn, spin the dial, I get another three. Again I'm going to take a random three and push them in. Notice what's happening. As I'm pushing on this side, there is other little creatures falling out on the opposite side, right? So I had to put three in and I ended up having two creatures fall out. One was a bunny and one was a turtle. Now I can take those and I can put them on the matching symbols on my board. So Mr. Turtle will go there and Mrs. Bunny is going to go there. Right, that's the end of Heinz's turn. James's turn. Spin the dial. He's also allowed to put in two. And he takes his two creatures from the forest and they crawl in. Oh dear! A hedgehog and a skunk came out. Pew! So this is not what we want because he chases the lovely little hedgehog back into the forest and James doesn't get the opportunity to put it onto his board. Sorry James. Back to Hein. We have to continue. Get the creatures through the log. Spin the dial and I've got two creatures. Now I need to start being clever. I notice that I've got lots of birdies and tortoises that still needs to come through. So I'm actually going to squeeze in the tortoises hoping that I can get as many tortoises out as I can eventually. Because remember the first ones I put in is not necessarily the ones that fall out. What do we have? We have got a bunny and a tortoise. No problem. Bunny can go onto there and tortoise can go onto there. Hein is doing well. He's got four on his board. James, not so well. James, we're hoping that you can get some creatures going. James spins the dial. He can stick in two creatures as well. 
and he sticks in himself a hedgehog and a birdie. What falls out? We have got a bunny and a tortoise. James is very happy because he doesn't have that bunny, nor does he have the tortoise. So in they go onto his board. Remember, the first person to complete his board is going to shout bingo. Hein can spin three. And he's going to take a birdie. And we need more hedgehogs. And we take another hedgehog. Yes, we got hedgehog. What fell out? Ooh, three tortoises fell out. Oh my goodness gracious. How much has Hein got left? Only one tortoise. Okay, so the tortoise can go there. He doesn't have any more tortoises. Now, he is going to be a friendly neighbor and he's going to offer it to James. James, do you need tortoises? Yes, I need. So, James scores and gets those two tortoises. Now, our tortoises are completed on both boards, which means we don't want to send any more tortoises into the log. So, when we spin, James, be careful what you choose. James spins. He gets a skunk. Oh, skunks. These little things, nasty little critters. In he goes, but out falls a hedgehog. James is very happy. Hedgehog is exactly what he needs. Hein, what are you going to do? Oh, another skunk. Oh dear, somewhere along the line, somebody is going to have a hard time with all these skunks. Out falls a birdie. Birdie is fine. Birdie can go there for Hein. James spins. Two must go in. What does James need? He needs hedgehogs and he needs birdies. So we're going to put hedgehogs and birdies in. Hedgehogs and a birdie. Oh, other side fell out. A hedgehog and a birdie. What a coincidence, hey? The two creatures came out. Right, so he goes and he puts them in these things. And he is a happy-go-lucky man. Hein, what do you need? We need to get to those hedgehogs. I hope I can get some hedgehogs. Oh, a skunk, another one. Oh, dear. All these skunks. Somebody is going to get a lot of smelly skunks coming out on the wrong side. Even though the name is called Skunk Bingo. Trust me, it's not a smelly game at all. It's a fun game to play. Hein, what did you get? I managed to get myself a hedgehog. Perfect. James, roll. James gets two more. James is also going for the bunnies and the birdies. Bunnies and birdies. Stick in the bunnies and the birdies. And what does he get coming out on the other side? Two skunks. Oh, the good news is there was no other creatures around. So only the skunks run back into the forest. No harm, no foul. Except James doesn't get to put any people on his board. Hein rolls. One more can go in. One more, and he's going to stick in a hedgehog. And he gets a hedgehog out. That's awesome. Now his board is full. He's almost done it. One more creature to go. James, what have you got to do? Three creatures. James has got two creatures. Heinz got one creature. Who's going to make it? Let's go quickly. We need some bunnies. We need some birds. Bunnies and birds. And uh, lastly, three must go in. What fell out? My bunny, my bird. Oh, a skunk came with. Oh, that was so close. Mr. Skunk chased all of them back into the forest. Can you believe it? Sorry, James. Hein, you have to make it up. One birdie to go. And you're going to put in three different cards. Let's see what it gets in. In goes a bunny. In goes a turtle. And lastly goes in a birdie. And a bunny fell out. What did we have? We got a bunny. We got a birdie. And it's a birdie that we need. Bingo! I have completed all of my creatures. Hein wins the game. What an exciting game. What fun. You never know what's going to come out the log. Watch a bit on the inside. They go into the middle and eventually they come out on the side. Don't want any skunks. This is Skunk Bingo, an amazing family game to bring everybody around the table and to enjoy good, clean family fun. Thank you for watching that board game show.